Whether it's morning or evening for you, you probably have one thing on your brain if you're like tuning into this channel or, or better channels, and that's the Sony a7R 4 was announced last night, 3,500 bucks, full frame, 61 megapixels per second. 5.7 mega points, EVF, 690, something like that. Uh, exposures per, per charge of the new Z battery. What's really got me interested and excited about the new Sony is finally they're addressing some of the ergonomic concerns that people like myself have had. You're holding it wrong. The Sonys are the only ones I've ever handled where you'd put your finger like this and your knuckles would be stuck right up against the lens. Sony moved the grip and the mount farther apart from each other so you won't sandpaper your knuckles like you used to. They also made the grip a little bit longer, the camera a little bit wider and taller. Anyway, it looks like there's two to three millimeters of clearance better than there were in the previous generation and that is awesome it's probably not enough to move me eventually over to the sony class or sony camp or whatever it is but it's enough for me to think that finally sony are listening to the right critics or writer critics than they have been listening to <laughs> until now if you'll remember from my things that should change in the xh1 video i was pretty down on the xh1 because it didn't have a raised niche from a flush body for the AF on button. The AF on button should be a button that sticks out to your thumb, to gloves, to anything, because it's a button that you'll always use. Sony have basically taken what was a small button on a flush back and moved it into a raised niche, and it's larger, it sticks out. It should be easier to activate whilst you're doing action, whilst you're in the rain, whilst you're in the snow, under any circumstances, than the previous button, which was basically like a cheap push button that you would use, I don't know, maybe for playing a photograph or deleting a photograph big improvement. Another thing that you will notice definitely is that the thumb pad, which some people might call a joystick, doesn't stick out maybe as much and some people might not like that, but if you're used to something like a Fujifilm X-H1 where it's got a little baby nipple, the baby nipple sticks out but it's so tiny you end up having to move it with the side of your finger rather than from the top. The Sony being a flatter, wider and grippier button, you should be able to just thumb it from the top and just nudge it like you would a joystick for a game system, which I think is much better design, but we'll have to wait to see how it works in real life. Being a fan of the Leica SL's big, like, woman nipple, it really sticks out. You can feel with the biggest gloves that you'll ever have, Spaceman gloves even, probably, probably, I'm not sure, never been to space, so you can move it any way you want. With the Sony, you have to use it from the top because there's not enough purchase on the sides to move it up or down like you would like a Fujifilm one, or if you wanna like twiddle the nipple, as you might. A bag of sand. You've been telling me for years, if not months, if not weeks, if not days, if not on the daily, that your Sony A7 and A7R is perfectly designed. If you just put a little, a little grip on the bottom, it's fine. You're holding it wrong. As the actress said to the bishop. You suck. A Sony should be treated differently. It's a lady, you see. You don't wrap your fingers around a lady. You don't grab her like you're grabbing a steering wheel. No, you caress her like you're like you're drawing a plate. I'm dreaming about stuff I shouldn't be dreaming about when I'm doing a video. Um, right, the nipple. <clears throat> you just don't understand Sony's way of doing things. You're just a cannon neeking like a fanboy shill and you're just coming in here trying to ruin our party. You're gonna say that to Sony like you did to me? Like you did to the Fujifilm fans? Like you did to anyone who's basically like, you know, it'd be nice if we had a better grip out of the box something that didn't sandpaper the knuckles, something that was more comfortable. Are you going to say that to Sony, who basically have come along and not fixed, but improved a lot of the ergonomic difficulties in the Sony A7 design? If you don't do that, you're completely inconsistent. Sony, you're doing the right thing. Keep it up. I'm really looking forward to trying your camera in the shop. 61 megapixels is a lot. I got a 50 megapixel camera upstairs. It's a lot. Won't be upgrading to 100 because that's that's too much of a lot. Where was I? See you next time.